Even though LeBron James is considered one of the best basketball players of all time, his performance this season has raised some questions about his future in basketball. He's recently hinted that he might join the Dallas Mavericks so he can play alongside Luka Doncic. In this video, we're going to go over the possibility of LeBron James joining Maverick and why he'd want to join them in the first place. Why LeBron James could join Dallas Maverick with Luka Doncic LeBron James recently told the Athletics Jason Lloyd that he'll be playing with his son, Bronny James, for his last NBA season. Currently, Bronny is only 17 years old and will only be draft eligible by 2024 when he's 19. LeBron will be 40 by the time his son gets to play his first season. This will also be LeBron's last season. So whatever organization drafts Bronny will in turn also draft his father, LeBron. Even though LeBron hasn't actually confirmed which organization he wants his son to be drafted by, he has given a lot of hints that he wants to play with Luka Doncic. Their techniques are similar. James had a lot of great things to say about Luka, which isn't surprising since he's considered one of the best players of this entire season. Some even say he'll surpass LeBron once he gets older. LeBron says he sees a lot of himself in Luka and that he reminds him of how he plays basketball. He even said, I love everything about his game. I love everything about him. This is a huge compliment to Luka, especially since he's looked up to him since he was a child. Luka mentioned how basketball has been his dream sport for years now, and he's idolized a lot of athletes in the past. But one of his favorites was LeBron James. He called him one of the best players ever to play basketball. Not many people get to work alongside someone they idolized since they were kids, and now he might just get a chance. Considering how much both of them seem to like each other's skills, it wouldn't be surprising if LeBron James joined Dallas Maverick with his son for his final season. James has drafted him three times. LeBron definitely wasn't lying when he said he loved the way Luka played since he drafted Luka in his all-star draft. Not just once, but three times. NBA analyst Brian Woodhorse says the best way to check how LeBron really feels about someone is by seeing who he drafts for his all-star drafts. LeBron also mentioned that he actually wanted to start the Team LeBron brand for Nike and have Luka as his first representative. He said when Luka was going through his shoe contract, he really wanted to start Team LeBron. However, it doesn't seem like the people from Nike wanted this, since LeBron said, this is what I wanted, and I don't believe my guys at Nike were ready for that. In the end, Luka ended up going with Jordan instead, since he was never offered that position. LeBron said he wanted to offer him this so he could prove just how much he believed in him. Apparently, Luka has no idea about any of this, and when he found out, he said he felt super special that LeBron felt that way about him, to continue the tradition on. When LeBron was younger, he was basically undefeatable. Even though he's still good now, he's definitely past his peak. He scored 5.115 points just after his first three NBA seasons. Luka, on the other hand, just started playing professional basketball four-ish years ago and is already a two-time first-team All-NBA selection, three-time All-Star, and the 2019 Rookie of the Year. He's on his way to becoming the best player in the league, and he could reach this goal as LeBron's son, Bronny James, enters the scene in 2024. LeBron could possibly join Dallas Maverick with his son and pass the reins to Luka after he retires. Since he's mentioned time and time again that he considers Luka to be one of the best players of all time, it would make sense if he would want him to train with his son in the future when LeBron isn't around anymore. This way, LeBron can make sure that his son is in good hands and retire without needing to worry. Plus, considering how much Luka admires LeBron, he would probably just want the best for his son too. Because of Mark Cuban, during the Pardon My Take podcast back in February, Mark Cuban talked about how he wanted to draft Bronny James so he could get LeBron. Mark talked about how smart he thought LeBron was for mentioning that he would go with his son to whoever drafted him. This way, Bronny shouldn't have an issue getting drafted by the biggest organizations since they'll probably just use him to get LeBron for one season. But Mark said he would only draft Bronny and LeBron if Bronny was actually capable of playing alongside of the best players like Luka. LeBron was pretty disappointed that the Lakers didn't even try to improve the other players' skills at all. Instead, they basically left everything to LeBron. He wants to win, and he knows his chances of winning the championship with his son will be low if he continues with the Lakers. He'll probably try to find the team with the best players possible so he can have a guaranteed win. Cuban just recently just spent a lot of his own money in order to improve the roster around Luka Doncic so the team wouldn't hold him back. They even traded Tristaps Porzingis to Washington and probably want to do even more in the future. Considering how LeBron is trying to find a team with a good roster and Mark is willing to spend anything for a win, it would make sense for LeBron to join the Mavericks. To get his final ring, since it's going to be his last season, LeBron will probably do just about anything to win the season and get that ring. He's probably looking for a reliable team, and there's nothing better than the Mavericks right now. Luka has already proven himself to be one of the best. During the last season, he managed to score an average of 35.7 points, 10.3 assists, 
assists, and 7.9 rebounds every single game. It doesn't seem like anything is stopping him anytime soon either. It's probably LeBron's dream to win a champion with his son and Luka Doncic, and that's very easy for them to achieve if he joins the Mavericks. LeBron and Luka are both one of the greatest players of all time. Putting these two together, the chances of winning the championship are already doubled. On top of that, we don't really know how good Bronny is. Everyone has extremely high expectations for him since he's LeBron's son, but there are some people that think he'll just end up living under his shadow. But there's no way he's that bad, right? If his skills really are as good as LeBron's when he was his age, then their chances of winning only increase even more than before. If he and his son stay in the Lakers instead, they'll probably end up losing again, unless the roster around them improves. But with how much criticism LeBron has gotten from staying in the Lakers for this long, it seems like he'll be making his exit pretty soon. LeBron James also wants to play with Steph Curry. Luka Doncic wasn't the only person LeBron James mentioned he'd like to play with. Another player LeBron just recently mentioned was Steph Curry. During an episode of Uninterrupted's The Shop, LeBron said he really wants the opportunity to play with Steph Curry before he retires. This was extremely surprising to hear, since these two have been rivals for years and they never actually teamed up. The only time they really teamed up was during the All-Star game, where we got to see how well Steph and LeBron played with each other. If this pairing ever does end up together, it would be unstoppable. Even Steph Curry himself was flabbergasted when he heard what LeBron said. He said, that is phenomenal. When did he say that? Was that on the shop? Later, when the interviewer asked Steph how he felt about what LeBron said, he basically said he was flattered, but thinks the whole thing is pretty unrealistic, and even referred to it as its fantasy. He laughed at the idea of them ever becoming teammates in the future and said, I'm good right now. Steph Curry definitely won't be leaving the Golden State Warriors anytime soon, so there's no way he'll join the LA Lakers or anything like that. On the other hand, if LeBron ends up leaving the LA Lakers, there's still no guarantee that the Golden State Warriors will have a spot ready for him. Even though LeBron is an amazing player, the Golden State Warriors have a solid team that will only get weaker if LeBron comes out of nowhere. That's a wrap for today's video. Do you think LeBron James will join the Dallas Mavericks so he could play with Luka Doncic alongside his son? Make sure to let us know in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos like this one. We'll see you next time.